14-bit raw video with the Canon 5D Mark III using Magic Lantern firmware. What is it? Magic Lantern is a free software add-on that runs from the SD slash CF card and adds a host of new features to Canon EOS cameras that weren't included from the factory by Canon. My name is Chris. Welcome to the Fip side. Today, 14-bit raw video. Uh, what is it? Well, it's a whole lot of headaches, but it is significantly sharper than the default .h264 compression. It also allows for much more dynamic range and color grading options in post-production. Basically, you can emulate a much more powerful cinema camera like the RED or C100 series for a fraction of the price. One bottleneck is the CF card write speed. I am going to be using Computer Bay 64 gigabyte cards and these are 1066X. Uh, raw footage 1080p at 30 frames a second will fill a 64 gigabyte card with just under 10 minutes of footage. It's hefty and difficult to achieve continuous full HD without the right settings and the right cards. So uh, I'm going to go through this list of uh, settings. First, for best performance, downgrade to Canon Official 1.1.3 before installing Magic Lantern. To see your current firmware version, you're going to turn the camera on and uh, make sure that it's in the manual mode M. Go to menu and on the last page of the yellow wrench, you're going to hit version 1.3.3. Before installing Magic Lantern, you're going to need to, well, I'm going to need to uh, downgrade this firmware. Now, uh, typically to upgrade the firmware, you can just put it on a card, but you're going to need to plug this into a computer via mini USB cord and use the EOS utility to downgrade to 1.1.3. So, EOS utility uh, software, which I had already installed, uh, will come up. I'm going to go to the camera settings here and uh, go to firmware update. Now this is, you press next, next. You can browse for the file. I have it on the desktop. It's the 1.1.3 uh, firmware. Press next. And uh, when you come to the prepare camera menu, uh, you'll see that firmware update program is loading, uh, displayed on the back of the camera here. Choose the 1.1.3.fir. You want to press OK. Now, at this point, you want to make sure you have a full battery and you do not touch the controls, no buttons, don't mess with it. You will brick your camera if you mess up the installation of the firmware. So be very careful. Anyway, press OK. And now you have the updating now, 0% done. There it is, 1%. So we'll be right back when that completes. Okay, so this camera has just finished the firmware installation. At this time, we're going to restart the camera, which it's already turned it off, uh, turn it back on. Then going to go to the menu and to format will be the first page of the yellow wrench. At the bottom, format the SD card. Press OK. Turn the camera off. Okay, I'm going to put this SD card in the 
card reader of the computer I'll be using. Now we have the Magic Lantern .fm page right here. To get the latest nightly build, go to Downloads, Download Nightly Builds, select camera, 5D3.113, and this green button will download the nightly build for Magic Lantern. So it's good stuff. Go to your downloads folder and uh, you can copy this .zip file directly to the SD card. Right click the file once it has finished copying and click extract here or unzip, which will create these three files. Well, it's two files in a directory. And uh, when that's finished, eject the SD card. Okay, so now put the SD card. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna put the SD card with the Magic Laner firmware in back in the camera. Turn it on. To bring up the Magic Lantern uh, menu, we hit the trash can on the rear here. Oh, I lied. You're gonna first need to install the Magic Lantern firmware. So first you're gonna go to menu, and on that last page of the yellow wrench at the bottom, you're gonna click on where it displays the firmware version. Uh, then you click OK to upgrade the firmware. Again, be careful, but this will be a quicker update process. Press OK. And here we go, the Magic Lantern uh, menu. And now we have a green message that says, please restart your camera. And in the bottom here it says, to uninstall Magic Lantern, please wait for 52 seconds. After the Magic Lantern firmware has finished installing, hit the trash can button on the rear. This will bring up the Magic Lantern menu. And then set to continue. There are two options for raw recording formats, RAW or MLV to shoot continuous 1080p at 24 frames per second use the MLV format which is newer and has an option for sound recording to activate raw enable the module in this menu with the four squares Go down to MLV underscore REC and MLV underscore SND. Restart the camera once again. In the video tab of the Magic Lantern menu, we can enable the raw video right here by hitting the set button. Uh, additional options can come up, but we'll go into those in a moment. The audio, which is the first menu, can enable the MLV sound. So now it's ready to shoot, but we're still going to change some settings around for uh, the ability to shoot continuously until the card is filled without dropping any frames. Now. Uh, we're going to go to the main menu, start at the beginning here. You're going to want to make sure your image quality is set to raw. The auto lighting optimizer is off. The long exposure noise reduction is off. The high ISO speed noise reduction is off. The highlight tone priority is off. The multiple exposure and HDR mode are both disabled. The movie size 
movie recording size, we want 1920 and 24 frames a second. So 1920, 24, all I is probably uh, just fine. But uh, that is definitely the setting you want. And you can go to the yellow wrench, go to record, function card, folder select, make sure record play is set to the CF card. Now, go back to the trash can. MLV sound still on, that's good. The overlay, uh, change global draw to live view. Global draw is the uh, overlay with all the information up here. You, we have right now zebras, which will show you hot spots, uh, spot meter, and the histogram. Uh, but we're going to have it disabled uh, when it starts recording to save processing power. In the movie tab, uh, we're going to hit the Q button over raw video to bring up additional options. Go to preview options and select hacked no preview and that is going to disable that global draw. Oh, there it is. Enable files greater than four gigabytes, the XFAT file system. We're going to make sure that's got a green dot next to it. And scrolling down, just looking through these things, everything looks good. Okay, uh, when you're satisfied with these settings, so you hit the Q button, it'll take you back to the movie menu. Uh, go back over to the exposure, you can see what your ISO and your charge speed's at. I would recommend for the smoothest video, shooting at 1 50th of a second when you record at 24 frames a second. If you're shooting 30 frames per second, shoot for 60, 1 60th of a second. So 1 50th of a second is good. Uh, from there, uh, try to double that, you know, keep it divisible by your frames per second as close as possible. So 1 50th, 1 100th, uh, 2 50th, 500, 1000, 2400, you know, as far as uh, 1 2400th of a second for the shutter speed. As close as you can get. But that's only if you need to knock out extra light because it won't be as smooth. And smoothness, there's nothing you want to trade for smoothness. If you need to control your exposure balance, try changing your image sensitivity right here, the ISO. Okay, now that we've achieved continuous 24 frames per second with the 14-bit uncompressed RAW, MLV footage. I can turn that off. It's a minute and 17 uh, second clip with sound. And I can process this with a sweet little piece of open source program uh, called raw to c dng So this freaks.de WordPress blog right here has a uh, his Magic Lantern Raw to CDNG 1.5.0 is the title of the post, but we're gonna scroll down where it says downloads. There's a list of versions. You're going to, you're going to want to use the 1.6.5 version. Later versions do have known bugs, and uh, this does have support for MLV files with audio and .raw raw files. So it's a really nice little piece of software. Uh, what it's going to do is extract the series of frames as footage and it will convert this 14-bit uh, footage in, it'll put it in a wrapper of a 16-bit file so that video editing programs such as Adobe Premiere and Resolve can interpret the footage or else you're gonna to have to do uh, a whole bunch of other converting and the workflow can get really messy really quick. This is the program raw to cdng 1.6.5.exe. I'm gonna run that. And I have a couple uh, sample pieces of footage already loaded on here. So I'm gonna to go to 
my E drive. And here is a M29.RAW. It's you can just drop it right onto this batch list section. Then I have a M27-1738.MLV. This one does not include a, a sound file. So the first uh, first clip is showing you the preview, and now the other clip took a moment to generate the preview file, and you can see a live preview of the clips and all the metadata uh, attached right here. I'll tell you the number of frames, uh, the date it was recorded, the frames per second it was recorded at, the resolution, even the camera. That so. Uh, What's nice is it's going to embed that metadata uh, into each one of the clips, into the footage, and when you import it into your video editor, it will be footage and not just a whole bunch of pictures, because that's basically what this, these files are, are just a whole bunch of pictures. I would recommend CDNG 16-bit maximized. Click on this little box right here which is the uh, destination output. Under output settings, it would be where you want to save your file. You can save them the same as the source by clicking this little guy right here, so it would just pop up next to the original file. That'll work for us. I'm gonna press the convert button, I'm ready. It's gonna process them pretty quickly, so that's cool. Got a, uh, you can fill up this batch list right here. You can do several files at once and, and go uh, get a coffee or let it run overnight. Okay, so uh, now that we have our footage files, uh, I can show you a quick way to interpret them into the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2015. Go to your footage bin, right click, import, go to the directory that they're located in, uh, which is my E drive, uh, M27-1738, that is one directory with a whole bunch of these .dng images. What I'm going to do is just select the first one in this directory and press open, and it's going to import them as a series. I can drag this footage clip right over the create new sequence and now I can play back this nice piece of ungraded uh, raw video. Links will be provided in the comment below. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to Magic Lantern developers and the community for this powerful piece of open source wizardry. Uh, and to Chimi, the developer of Raw 2 CDNG, because uh, that is a real convenient piece of software. Because I have been trying to process these uh, raw footage clips for uh, the last couple of years, maybe since 2013. And I have had more headaches than I can babble on about. So, I'm Chris. You're on the fifth side. Just remember, if asked what is the fifth side, just tell them the fifth side is not a cult.com. Coming up, we got Hearts of Darkness, a ex-comedy rock opera apocalypse.